Tree Planning In order to create the pre-planning, you can import lists with pre-planning data that were created in external applications. You select the data source for the import of an Excel file from the dialog select data source. Column names in the header row. If this checkbox is selected, the column names from the data table are output in the external field column of the assignment table. The properties of the pre-planning data are displayed in the column headings of the Excel list. Each line represents a data record to be imported and thus for a PCT loop. Specify the assignment of the external fields to the ePlan properties in the table of the field assignment dialog and save this assignment as a scheme. You can create new schemes, save any changes to a scheme, and copy or delete schemes via the adjacent toolbar. In this dialog the segments from the data source to be imported are displayed in a table and compared with the segments existing in the project. Depending on the displayed status information you specify the action to be carried out with the segments. After the successful import, planning objects, on which macros are referenced, have now been created. A rapid and simple method for placing the macros is to drag and drop the planning objects from the tree view of the pre-planning navigator into the page navigator. PCT loops are managed in parallel to general planning objects, and behave in a way similar to them in the pre-planning. PCT loops are also called MSR loops or EINC loops. In this tab, you can specify the properties of the selected PCT loop. Representation of PCT loops in accordance with the standard DIN EN62424. In order to create the pre-planning, you can import lists with pre-planning data that were created in external applications. You select the data source for the import of an Excel file from the dialog select data source. Column names in the header row. If this checkbox is selected, the column names from the data table are output in the external field column of the assignment table. If this checkbox is activated, segments that are missing during a renewed import in the data source, i.e. were removed are displayed in the subsequent dialog synchronize pre-planning data and identified as deleted. These segments are deleted in the project unless the none action is set. PNI diagrams are part of the plant documentation. As standard, PNI diagrams are used for the following Representation of a technical procedural process, Representation of a plant overview with associated instrumentation, Functional overview drawings of machines. You have opened a page of the PNI diagram type. You insert a PCT loop, either via the symbol selection or as a copy from the clipboard or you insert a macro that contains PCT loops. Use this dialog to specify the location in the structure where a PCT loop slash PCT loop function is placed. Left side source, the higher level structures and the inserted PCT loops slash PCT loop functions are displayed in a table in the list tab. Right side right side, 
this tree displays the structure of the target project in which the PCT loop slash PCT loop functions are inserted. All placed and unplaced segments are displayed. Sorting into the structure by means of multiple selection is possible. The button assign allows you to assign a segment marked in the project field to the segment marked in the source field if their basic segment definitions match. This way, you can place a PCT loop that already existed in the pre-planning together with the inserted graphic. The assigned segment is then emphasized in bold in the project field, and identified by a status icon. Left side source, in the tree tab the superior structure of the PCT loops in which these are sorted in the source project or in the macro is displayed hierarchically. The button insert allows for the PCT loop highlighted in the source field to be inserted below the segment highlighted in the project field. If a superior segment is highlighted in the source field, the complete structure below this selection will be inserted into the target project. The PCT loop is automatically assigned a PNI symbol when placed on the PNI diagram. In the drop-down list, different predefined assignment configurations are offered for selection. As for example according to DIN N62424. Reports represent queries of the project data. They allow the targeted output of project data. These are automatically generated and can be written directly to report pages. Different tasks within process automation are often covered by a wide range of different engineering tools, challenges continuous and less free data exchange, reducing the number of involved tools will also reduce the number of interfaces, the earlier data can be transferred to ePlan platform the better data consistency can be supported, data transition into ePlan platform ensures consistency and reduces interfacing. With pre-planning, you can realize initial planning activities regarding technical aspects in the engineering process early on in the ePlan platform. The engineering process of a machine or higher level function consists of individual phases through which the concept is adjusted and specified from initial rough drafts and ideas, until all documents and information have been created that are necessary for the manufacture and construction of the machine. In the project phase of pre-planning, Concepts are worked out for the technical scope of machines or plants and estimates are done on initial quantity structures. The goal is to determine the concept that is most advantageous technically speaking, and to define the defaults for the subsequent detailed planning. Based on pre-planning, later on schematics can be created and details of the plant worked out. E-plan your engineering.